so here we are so what we're going to start by looking at the visual aesthetics of the vehicle uh, of the vehicle of the plane <laughs> feels, feels like i'm still work so we're going to be looking at the plane what we're going to be looking for is any breaks any cracks anything that, that we need to be aware of so here i am just looking at like the propeller up front i can't see anything wrong with it i can't see any cracks i can't see any dents and that's exactly what i'm looking out for so that is all clear just coming down here further to the front nose wheel what we need to look at is uh, this red mark so this red mark on uh, on the metal bit is actually in line with the rubber bit what that's telling me is that uh, the tire and the wheel actually is aligned it hasn't moved around and this is a, a key way for be able to see exactly to make sure that everything's uh, intact and how it should be you can also just about see those red marks on bolts so, so everywhere on the plane uh, where two things should be in a specific area that's what's going to be that's what you're going to see you're going to see uh, those red bits the red paint just to be able to show to everyone that everything is in line exactly where it should be okay just coming here to the structure of the plane everything's all good everything's sturdy Again, coming down to the wheel, I can see there's plenty of tread in the tyre itself. There's plenty of air in the tyre. Uh, the red lines are aligned to each other. Just coming here to the other side to the, to the brakes. You can see the brake discs all good. There's no leakage of brake fluid, etc. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the wings. So again, uh, on the wing, I'm looking at um, the front of the wing just to make sure that there is no bird strike, there's no dents, there's no cracks, nothing like that on the wing effectively. Okay. So just as you can see on the other side, as I move this aileron on up or down, the other side actually does exactly the opposite. And again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down here. Um, I'm looking between those um, those ridges and just making sure that that cable in the middle hasn't snapped. It's perfectly capable and it, you know it's stable and sturdy to the plane. Again on the same side. Make sure that's not broken. Fit. Come around here again. On the flaps, everything as good as it seems. Looking at the bolts everything's stable everything's where it should be okay just coming up closer to bodywork look at that come in checking out the elevator it's very similar to the wings i'm just looking at here can you just see that red paint again that's just showing me that uh, that's all in line and i'm just making sure that uh, that little metal bar is holding uh, <clears throat> holding the trim elevator in place and it's not broken it's actually fixed exactly where it needs to be and again coming over to this side okay everything seems to be how it should be just having a look inside you probably can't see it very well in the video but there is actually linkage uh, between them so when you press the right uh, left or the right rudder uh, these move um, uh, that actually moves the rudder in the back so i'm just checking the linkage to say that's all there and yes i can confirm it's absolutely safe in there as well now we've done the left side exactly the same so again no bird strikes no dents no cracks nothing to be worried about here aesthetically the plane looks great again the sturdiness of the plane is perfect coming down here again plenty of tread in the tires just coming around to the side the red paint matches the uh, red uh, alloy buckle and coming around to the other side the brake disc is all good and there's no and no leakage no anything like that from the brake discs itself again all okay with the flaps no movement of the flaps unnecessarily the bolts are all good they're all okay okay looking at the right wing again no bird strike no nothing like that and it all looks great to me nothing to be worried about again 
that's the, one of the main things we look at actually to make sure that that's not broken in any way shape or form Okay, <clears throat> so based upon that, everything looks uh, great to me. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually just gonna check the engine bay. So now, uh, this is what I need to do here before every flight. I'm just gonna look at the engine oil. pull that out and as you can see at the moment the engine oil is actually quite low it's uh, just a bit there but you see that flat bit in the middle that's where the engine oil needs to be so believe it or not how we actually make sure that there's plenty of engine oil in it is I will actually have to manually turn the propeller uh, don't worry that won't turn the engine on as long as all the electronics uh, are off that won't affect anything but what that would do is that would just lubricate the engine start oil around the engine and what I'll do again I'll pull this uh, pull up the dipsticks to make sure that um, there's plenty of oil in the plane uh, before taking off and of course uh, if there isn't I'll just go over to reception uh, in the far distance and I'll go get some get some oil and, and top it up okay so I'll just come back to that so I'll close it for a second and again uh, the air intakes here what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna check again in here uh, the reason why we're checking in here is just to make sure that there's no birds nest uh, you know no birds have sort of flown in there overnight as I'm the first person taking the plane out today sort of thing you know I just want to make sure that this area is all clear yep engine area is all clear there is no birds there's no nests I can see and just in terms of the coolant I need to make sure that is above the minimum and below the maximum as well okay so again lift that up so it gets underneath the latch and lock it up right now what we're going to do is we're just going to check some of the other bits and bobs on the plane such as uh, the pitot heat etc so master on pitot heat on i'm going to turn the strobe lights on the landing lights on and the navigation lights on now i'm going to come to the front yes there we go the landing lights are working perfectly just coming up to the right wing i can see the strobe lights working and i can also see the navigation lights. so on an, uh, on the majority of the aircraft actually all of the aircraft in fact the navigation light is green on the right hand side and it will be red on the other side there we go so the strobe lights working and the navigation light is working as well now you notice i've turned on the pitot heat so this is the pitot heat so i'm just going to touch it ever so gently because this gets really hot but i can confirm this is getting really warm so it, this will prevent de-icing if i ever need to so that's all working all the checks out have been great so turn the pitot heat off strobe lights landing lights navigation lights and turn the master off okay so that is that is doing Oh, but I'm going to break it. There we go. Uh, that is an external check that you do of the plane, uh, especially the Technam P2008. Hope you found this video useful, guys. Check out my other videos on my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.